The apicomplex are a large phylum of parasitic protists. Most of them possess a unique form of organelle that comprises a type of plastid called an apicoplast and an apical complex structure. The organelle is an adaptation that the apicomplex and applies in penetration of a host cell. The apicomplex are a unicellular and spore forming. All species are obligate endoparasites of animals, except nephromyces, a symbiont in marine animals, originally classified as a chytrid fungus. Motile structures such as flagella or pseudopods are present only in certain gamete stages. The apicomplex are a diverse group that includes organisms such as the coccidia, gregarines, pyroplasms, hemogregarines, and plasmodia. Diseases caused by apicomplex are include babesiosis, malaria, cryptosporidiosis, cyclosporiasis, isosporiasis, Toxoplasmosis. The name of the taxon Apicomplexa derives from two Latin words, apex and complexus, and refers to a set of organelles in the sporozoata. The Apicomplexa comprise the bulk of what used to be called the sporozoa, a group of parasitic protozoans, in general without flagella, cilia, or pseudopods. Most of the apicomplex are immotile however, by use of a gliding mechanism that uses adhesions and small static myosin motors. The other main lines were the acetosporia, the mixozoa, and the microsporidia. Sometimes, the name sporozoa is taken as a synonym for the apicomplexa, or occasionally as a subset. General features of the apicomplexa. All members of this phylum have an infectious stage, the sporozoata, which possesses three distinct structures in an apical complex. The apical complex consists of a set of spirally arranged microtubules, a secretory body and one or more polar rings. Additional slender electron-dense secretory bodies surrounded by one or two polar rings may also be present. This structure gives the phylum its name. A further group of spherical organelles is distributed throughout the cell rather than being localized at the apical complex and are known as the dense granules. These typically have a mean diameter of about 0.7 micrometers. Secretion of the dense granule content takes place after parasite invasion and localization within the parasitophorus vacuole and persists for several minutes. Other morphological findings that are common to all members of this phylum include the nucleus is haploid. Flagella are found only in the motile gamete. These are posteriorly directed and vary in number. Basal bodies are present. Although hemisphoridians and pyroplasmids have normal triplets of microtubules in their basal bodies, coccidians and gregorines have nine singlets. The mitochondria have tubular crista. A Golgi apparatus is present. Centrioles, chloroplasts, ejectile organelles, and inclusions are absent. Colorless plastids are present in some species. The cell is surrounded by a pellicle of three membrane layers penetrated by micropores. Replication. Mitosis is usually closed, with an intranuclear spindle. In some species, it is open at the poles. Cell division is usually by schizogony. Meiosis occurs in the zygote. Mobility. Apicomplexans have a unique gliding capability which enables them to cross through tissues and enter and leave their host cells. This gliding ability is made possible by the use of adhesions and small static myosin motors. Other features common to this phylum are a lack of cilia, sexual reproduction, use of micropores for feeding, and the production of oocysts containing sporozoites as the infective form. Most apicomplexans have an apicoplast and mitochondrial and nuclear genomes. Although cryptosporidium species and gregorines are possible exceptions, as they are thought to have lost their plastids after the diverging last common ancestor of apicomplexans. General features of the subgroups. Within this phylum are three groups, coccidians, gregorines, and hemisphoridians. The coccidians and gregorines appear to be relatively closely related. Perkinsus, while once considered a member of the apicomplexa, has been moved to a new phylum, Perkinsus. 
Gregorines The gregorines are generally parasites of annelids, arthropods, and mollusks. They are often found in the guts of their hosts, but may invade the other tissues. In the typical gregorine life cycle, a trophozoata develops within a host cell into a schizont. This then divides into a number of merozoates by schizogony. The merozoates are released by lysing the host cell, which in turn invade other cells. At some point in the apocomplex and life cycle, gametocytes are formed. These are released by lysis of the host cells, which group together. Each gametocyte forms multiple gametes. The gametes fuse with another to form oocysts. The oocysts leave the host to be taken up by a new host. Coccidians in general, coccidians are parasites of vertebrates. Like gregorines, they are commonly parasites of the epithelial cells of the gut but may infect other tissues. The coccidian life cycle involves morogony, gametogony, and sporogony. While similar to that of the gregorines it differs in zygote formation. Some trophozoites enlarge and become macrogamete, whereas others divide repeatedly to form microgametes. The microgametes are motile and must reach the macrogamete to fertilize it. The fertilized macrogamete forms a zygote that in its turn forms an oocyst that is normally released from the body. Syzygy, when it occurs, involves markedly anisogamous gametes. The life cycle is typically haploid, with the only diploid stage occurring in the zygote, which is normally short-lived. The main difference between the coccidians and the gregorines is in the gamonts. In the coccida these are small, intracellular and without epimerates or mucrons. In the gregorines, these are large, extracellular, and possess epimerates or mucrons. A second difference between the coccidia and the gregorines also lies in the gamonts. In the coccidian, a single gamont becomes a macrogametocyte, whereas in the gregorines, the gamonts give rise to multiple gametocytes. Hemosphoridia The hemosphoridia have more complex life cycles that alternate between an arthropod and a vertebrate host. The trophozoata parasitizes erythrocytes or other tissues in the vertebrate host. Microgametes and macrogametes are always found in the blood. The gametes are taken up by the insect vector during a blood meal. The microgametes migrate within the gut of the insect vector and fuse with the macrogametes. The fertilized macrogamete now becomes an oconeta, which penetrates the body of the vector. The oconeta then transforms into an oocyst and divides initially by meiosis and then by mitosis to give rise to the sporozoites. The sporozoites escape from the oocyst and migrate within the body of the vector to the salivary glands where they are injected into the new vertebrate host when the insect vector feeds again. Reproduction and life cycle. Most members have a complex life cycle, involving both asexual and sexual reproduction. Typically, a host is infected via an active invasion by the parasites, which divide to produce sporozoites that enter its cells. Eventually, the cells burst, releasing merozoites, which infect new cells. This may occur several times, until gametes are produced, forming gametes that fuse to create new cysts. Many variations occur on this basic pattern, however, and many apocomplexa have more than one host. The apical complex includes vesicles called roptries and micronemes, which open at the anterior of the cell. These secrete enzymes that allow the parasite to enter other cells. The tip is surrounded by a band of microtubules, called the polar ring. And among the conoid acida is also a funnel of tubulin proteins called the conoid. Over the rest of the cell, except for a diminished mouth called the micropore, the membrane is supported by vesicles called alveoli, forming a semi-rigid pellicle. The presence of alveoli and other traits place the apocomplexa among the group, called the alveolates. Several related flagellates, such as Perkinsis and Colpidella, have structures similar to the polar ring and were formerly included here, but most appear to be closer relatives of the dinoflagellates. They are probably similar to the common ancestor of the two groups.
Another similarity is that many apicomplexan cells contain a single plastid, called the apicoplast, surrounded by either three or four membranes. Its functions are thought to include tasks such as lipid and heme biosynthesis, and it appears to be necessary for survival. In general, plastids are considered to have a common origin with the chloroplasts of dinoflagellates and evidence points to an origin from red algae rather than green. Parasitology and Genomics Many of the apicomplexan parasites are important pathogens of human and domestic animals. In contrast to bacterial pathogens, these apicomplexan parasites are eukaryotic and share many metabolic pathways with their animal hosts. This makes therapeutic target development extremely difficult. A drug that harms an apicomplexan parasite is also likely to harm its human host. At present, no effective vaccines are available for most diseases caused by these parasites. Biomedical research on these parasites is challenging because it is often difficult, if not impossible, to maintain live parasite cultures in the laboratory and to genetically manipulate these organisms. In recent years, several of the apicomplexan species have been selected for genome sequencing. The availability of genome sequences provides a new opportunity for scientists to learn more about the evolution and biochemical capacity of these parasites. The predominant source of this genomic information is the UPathDB family of websites, which currently provides specialized services for plasmodium species, coccidians, pyroplasms and cryptosporidium species, greater than one possible target for drugs is the plastid, and in fact existing drugs such as tetracyclines, which are effective against apicomplexans, seem to operate against the plastid. Bloodborne genera within the apicomplex are of three suborders of parasites, suborder Adelirina, eight genera, suborder Hemosporinae, all genera in this suborder, Suborder Imeriorino, two genera, within the Avalorina are species that infect invertebrates and others that infect vertebrates. The Imeriorino, the largest suborder in this phylum, the life cycle involves both sexual and asexual stages. The asexual stages reproduce by schizogony. The male gametocyte produces a large number of gametes and the zygote gives rise to an oocyst, which is the infective stage. The majority are monoxonous, but a few are heteroxonous. The number of families in this later suborder is debated, with the number of families being between 1 and 20 depending on the authority and the number of genera being between 19 and 25. Evolution All members of this phylum are parasitic and evolved from a free-living ancestor. This lifestyle is presumed to have evolved at the time of the divergence of dinoflagellates and apicomplexans. Further evolution of this phylum has been estimated to have occurred about 800 million years ago. The oldest extant clade is thought to be the Archigrigarines. Many coccidiomorpha have an intermediate host, as well as a primary host, and the evolution of hosts proceeded in different ways and at different times in these groups. For some coccidiomorphs, the original host has become the intermediate host, whereas in others it has become the definitive host. In the genera Aggregator, Atoxoplasma, Cystuarospora, Shellachia, and Toxoplasma, the original is now definitive, whereas in Acuba, Babesiosoma, Babesia, Hemogregarino, Hemoproteus, Hepatozoon, Caryolysis, Leukocytozoon, Plasmodium, Sarcocystis, and Theolaria. The original hosts are now intermediate. Similar strategies to increase the likelihood of transmission have evolved in multiple genera. Polyenergidoacysts and tissue cysts are found in representatives of the orders Protococcidioreida and Imeriidae. Hypnozoites are found in Caryolysis lacerate and most species of Plasmodium. Transovarial transmission of parasites occurs in life cycles of Caryolysis and Babesia. Horizontal gene transfer appears to have occurred early on in this phylum's evolution with the transfer of a histone H4 lysine 20 modifier set 8 from an animal host to the ancestor of apicomplexans.
A second gene, H3K36-methyltransferase, may have also be horizontally transferred. Phylogenetic relations This has rarely been studied at the subclass level. The hemosphoridia are related to the gregorines and the piriplasms and coccidians are sister groups. The hemosphoridia and the piriplasma appear to be sister clades and are more closely related to the coccidians than to the gregorines. Transposons appear to be rare in this phylum, but have been identified in the genera Ascagregarina and Imeria. Taxonomy History The first apocomplex of protozoan was seen by Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, who in 1674 saw oocysts of Imeria stidae in the gallbladder of a rabbit. The first member of the phylum to be named was Gregarina avata in earwigs. Since then, many more have been identified and named. During 1826 to 1850, 41 species and six genera of Apocomplexa were named. In 1951 to 1975, 1873 new species and 83 new genera were added. The older taxon Sporozoa was created by Lucas in 1879 and adopted by Butchley in 1880. Through history, it grouped with the current Apicomplex so many unrelated groups. For example, Kudo included in the Sporozoa species of the Acetosporia, Microsphoridia, Mixozoa and Helicosphoridium, while Zirt included the genus Blastocystis. More recently, other groups were excluded from Apicomplexa, e.g., Perkinsis and Colpidella. The field of classifying Apicomplexa is in flux and classification has changed throughout the years since it was formally named in 1970. By 1987, a comprehensive survey of the phylum was completed. In all, 4,516 species and 339 genera had been named. They consisted of subclass Gregarina with 1624 named species and 231 named genera, family Hemogregorinidae with 399 species and 4 genera, order Imeriorida with 1771 species and 43 genera, order Hemosporocena with 444 species and 9 genera, order P. Replasmorida with 173 species and 20 genera, others. Although considerable revision of this phylum has been done, these numbers seems likely to be still approximately correct. Jacques Eusebi Jacques Eusebi in 1988 created a new class Hemosphoridiacena by merging subclass P. Replasmacena and suborder Hemospororina, subclass Gregarinacena, subclass Coxidiacena, suborder Adelirina, suborder Imeriorina, subclass Hemosphoridiacena, order Acromatorida, order Chromatorida. The division into Acromatorida and Chromatorida, although proposed on morphological grounds, may have a biological basis, as the ability to store hemozoin appears to have evolved only once. Robertson Janovi Robertson Janovi in 1996 divided the phylum into the following subclasses and suborders. Subclass Gregarinacena, Subclass Coxidiasna, Suborder Adelirina, Suborder Imeriorina, Suborder Hemospororina, Subclass P. Replasmacena. These form the following five taxonomic groups. The Gregorines are, in general, one host parasites of invertebrates. The Adelirins are one host parasites of invertebrates or vertebrates or two host parasites that alternately infect hematophagous invertebrates and the blood of vertebrates. The Imeriorans are a diverse group that includes one host species of invertebrates, two host species of invertebrates, one host species of vertebrates and two host species of vertebrates. The Imeriorans are frequently called the coccidia. This term is often used to include the Adelirans. Hemospororans, often known as the malaria parasites, a two-host apocomplex of that parasitize blood-feeding dipterin flies and the blood of various tetrapod vertebrates. Piriplasms where all the species included are two-host parasites infecting ticks and vertebrates. 
Perkins This scheme is taken from Perkins AL. It is outdated as the Perkins that I have since been recognized as a sister group to the dinoflagellates rather than the apicomplexia. The remainder of the scheme appears to be valid. Class Arcanoid Decidicanoid present only in the Okanetta of some species. Order Hemosporarida. Macrogamete and microgamete develop separately. Syzygy does not occur. Okanetta has a conoid. Sporozoites have three walls. Heteroxness alternates between vertebrate host and invertebrate host. Usually blood parasites, transmitted by blood-sucking insects. Order P. Replasmorida. Class Conoida Sida Subclass Gregarina Sina Order Archigregarinorida Order Eugregarinorida Suborder Adelarina Suborder Imeriorina Order Neogregarinorida Subclass Coxidiasna Order Algama Coxidiorida Order Eucoxidiorida Order Ixahiorida Order Protococcidiorida Class Perkins Acida, Order Perkinsorida, Family Perkinsidae. The name Protospiromonadida has been proposed for the common ancestor of the Gregarinomorpha and Coccidiomorpha.